there, there's this guy, Jimmy Speckerman. He used to torment me in high school. He sent me a message through Facebook. He's in town and wants to have drinks. Is this the fella who peed in your Hawaiian punch? <laughs> no, that was a different guy. Was he the one who used your head to open a nut? <laughs> no. Was he the one who made you eat your arm hair? <laughs> no, nope, uh, actually, that was this guy's sister. It's this Jimmy Speckerman thing. I can't decide if I should agree to see him or not. Of course, that might be, because the last time I ran into him, he made me floss with my own shoelaces. <laughs> Wear loafers. I'm gonna go see him and finally say all the things I should have said in high school. Well, pick on someone your own size. Oh, you did not have sex with my mother. <laughs> and yes, I do know why I'm hitting myself. Oh, they all went with Leonard to confront his childhood bully. Oh, terrific. High school quarterback against four mathletes. I don't think I can meet the girl who was always mean to me. Tammy Bodnick. One time while I was in gym class, she stole all my clothes and left an elf costume in my locker. In ninth grade, the girls put Rogaine in my hand lotion. <laughs> Within six months, the nicknames began to fly. I think the one that hurt the most was Gorilla Fingers Fowler. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I guess my school was a nice place. We didn't really have bullies. Sure picked on them or put gum in their hairy knuckles so the school nurse had to use peanut butter to get it out? No. Like, okay, this one girl, Kathy Geiger, got really good grades, so we blindfolded her, tied her up, and left her in a cornfield overnight. <laughs> Did Kathy Geiger laugh? Uh, probably. It's hard to say. She kind of had an ear of corn in her mouth. Who would have thought Fuzzy Fingers Fowler is best friends with a bully? Kind of sounds like you were. Shh. That's how you wind up in a cornfield. Hey, we're here to support you, buddy. No, you're not. You're here to see if I get my underwear pulled over my head. <laughs> I can't read your handwriting. What's that word? Scrotum. <laughs> What's that one? Uh, stapled. Leonard! <laughs> oh, hi! Holy crap, man! It's good to see you! <laughs> Look at you, little Leonard Hofstetter. I hear you're a big-time scientist now. Oh, and there's the first zinger. Ouch. Hey, huh? he was so little, he could fit in just about anywhere. Lockers, uh, trash cans. Oh, man, how did you get inside that backpack? I can't take all the credit. You helped a lot. You have this great money-making idea. I just need a gearhead to get it to the finish line. Mm, technically, Howard's the gearhead. Leonard's just a dime store laser jockey. What do you think about a pair of glasses that makes any movie you want into 3D. How exactly would these glasses work? How the hell should I know? That's why I need a nerd. <laughs> oh, come on. You can figure it out. You're like the smartest guy I've ever known. The smartest? All right. <laughs> My spineless friend lacks the courage to say is, you're a terrible person who took advantage of his tiny size, his uncoordinated nature, and his congenital lack of masculinity. A little bit, but the man super glued Hershey's kisses to your nipples. <laughs> That's funny, because those aren't the kind of kisses you want on your nipples. This is a list of your heinous acts against Leonard, one of which is certainly the cause of him wetting his bed well into his teens. Man, I... I don't know what to say. I always thought we were just having some fun. You're being too kind, Leonard. You ruined him. Come on, guys. Hey, uh, for the record, uh, Jimmy wasn't the reason I wet the bed. That one has my mother written all over it. Anyway, I'm really sorry I made fun of your stutter in high school. You do? Uh huh. You... Oh God, just finish the sentence. <laughs> Gosh, no one wants to hear my apologies. I think your mistake is doing it over the phone. I mean, if they could look into your eyes, they'd melt. <laughs> Perhaps you could assuage your guilt through altruism. <laughs> Which word's tripping you up? What are you doing here? I want to apologize for stapling your balls and <laughs> throwing you naked in the girls' locker room and stuffing that parrot down your pants. And... <laughs> I am so, so sorry. Really? Yeah, I just hope you can forgive me. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Yeah, are, are you okay to drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drive better drunk. You know, it makes you pay attention. <laughs> Back in school, I was the winner and you were the loser, and now we're reversed. You're the winner. As a symbolic gesture to all the bullies who've tormented us for years, we open our home to Jimmy, and once he's asleep, we kill him. 
Leonard. Yeah. In case it comes up again, this right here is an imposition. <laughs> uh, listen, it was great to see you again, and, and, and thanks for the apology. What apology? For all the crappy stuff you did to me in high school. Oh, well, geez, you're still harping on that? What a puss. <laughs> you really know your way around the kitchen, Nancy. <laughs> I'm not going to say I told you so, but we could have killed him. Hey, Jimmy, it's time for you to go. Yeah, all right, let me just finish this. No, you're done. I want you out of my apartment right now. Well said, boy wonder. <laughs> or what? Don't answer. That's a trick question. I speak from experience. <laughs> now get out! Uh-oh. <laughs> you did it, Leonard. You stood up to your bully. Yeah, I feel pretty good about myself.